I decided I would move to New York exactly a year and a month ago. I spent evenings walking and talking with my mom, dreaming of making it happen, applying to my dream school and getting accepted, visiting in the spring, then again in the summer, and embarking on what would unknowingly become the most stressful situation I've ever experienced. Everyone talks about how insane New York City apartment hunting is, but I didn't fully grasp or I guess believe to what extent they meant. If anything, I think I heavily underestimated. From tour after tour after tour, desperately calling calling every realtor and listing we came across, leaving my dad and I running around New York with no end in sight. And at one point coming home so defeated, I declared I'm no longer moving. I then regained confidence that the place for me was in fact out there. And I set out for the third and final round of hunting with nothing but two weeks worth of clothes and my absolute essentials, packing up, leaving and saying goodbye with still no place to go. From thinking I was going to live with a roommate to suddenly having to start looking at studios and one bedrooms, moving into a sublet the day before school started so I had some to sleep and after two months of zero success with apartment hunting finding my dream place in less than two days and finally setting foot into the apartment that would become mine welcome to my first official apartment in new york city guys i'm in my apartment i'm officially moved in and i can't believe i'm here and i'm on my fire escape i have dreamed about this this was something that was on my vision board like this exact moment being on my fire escape moved into my new york city apartment this was on my vision board that i made at the beginning of this year like i'm i'm in disbelief and i'm just i'm so grateful this is insane and it's september 1st september 1st and it's my first morning in my new york city apartment alone my parents just left this morning they helped me move in all the essentials this past weekend and this is crazy i just can't believe it that was a small preview of my apartment i don't want to show you guys until i have more furnished furnished things also it's still quite messy i have a lot of things to put away but since it is a sunday we're gonna go to a flea market they have every sunday they have the grand bazaar flea market and the Chelsea flea market which I've been to before there's a ton of other ones that I've never tried or been to but I'm familiar with these two and I'm gonna look for more like unique pieces I need some wall mirrors lamps maybe decor although that's not my priority right now I need some plates some dining plates and I'm gonna bring a big tote bag because I expect myself to come home with some things I hope that's my goal let me show you guys my outfit since I have no mirrors I have no idea what I look like as of late so my camera is gonna have to do but this is the fit this is what we're working with today hopefully it looks decent I just have little Jorts on, sambas. This top is from Urban. And I put my hair up because it was not working with me today. So hopefully it looks better now. But let's go. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm excited. Hopefully I find some good things. Let's hope. goodies i'm so excited i've ordered the bulk of my furniture things are all starting to come in we're gonna unbox all of these later or now should we do it now i think we should do it now toilet paper stand cute candle warmer squeegee for my bathroom mirror Stop, that's adorable. So cute. Okay, this one's a fragile box. Oh, I think it's my nightstand. Ha. Oh boy. Ugh. Woo! Sorry, neighbors. There's an H for me. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do this later. I don't wanna do this right now. Nightstand to be continued. Okay, one less box. Box inside a box. Now I can put away all my clothes still sitting in garbage bags. Pack them away! Yay! Also got the Nescafe Gold Espresso, the blonde. Because I saw this on my TikTok and everybody was kind of raving about it. And I don't have a coffee machine at the moment. So I'm really excited to try this. 
Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I'm really excited. And I bought these like disposable iced coffee cups that came with like, uh, like it's a massive pack of cups and straws and everything so I can make a little to-go iced coffee or iced matcha on the way to class rather than just like buy one every morning. That was a smart investment and now I can make it with this. Very fun. And we still have so many things to come. And I'm gonna assemble my nightstand later. I love that. That is gorgeous. It's a little unstable, but that might just be my the ground of my apartment, not the table. I don't know, but really cute. If you want, you can let me. proud of myself. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 4th and lots of exciting things are happening today. I wasn't expecting it but a lot of the furniture that I ordered is actually coming a lot earlier than it was expected to. So it was supposed to like my couch, my shoe rack, kitchen island, I got like a portable kitchen island, were all supposed to arrive in the next like five days. Like, and my kitchen island was already delivered. It's sitting in my hallway downstairs. It's way too heavy for me to pick up. I think I'm gonna have my super help me with it. And then my couch and my shoe rack are all coming today. Also, I have a technician coming to help me with my internet because I, for the life of me, could not figure out how to like set up my internet. It, it, it's, it's not working. I think I need to like reset it completely. So somebody's coming to help me set it up. And then I can also start using my TV, which I'm really excited about. So my TV is gonna set, be set up. My internet's gonna be set up. I'm gonna have a couch. I can get rid of the blow up mattress. I'm gonna have a shoe rack so I can put all my shoes away. My kitchen island I can set up. Today's gonna be a big day in terms of furniture and apartment furnishing and everything coming together and I'm so excited. So that is today's plan is to set it all up, get things organized, get things going. Also currently in my bathroom. I promise I'm gonna give you guys an apartment tour at the end of this video. It's obviously gonna be like a not fully decorated video or apartment tour, but it'll be a much more furnished apartment tour. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned. I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll get back to you guys either when the technician comes or when I start putting my clothes away. So I have some time before the technician comes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing my closet and putting away clothes okay so these are all clothes that i want inside my closet and then i also have these garbage bags that have clothes that i don't really care about as much and i don't wear as often so once i put this bin of clothes inside my closet these are going to be nicely folded and put away in this bin for storage if that makes sense <laughs> Yes! Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so we're for the most part done. I still have a few clothes in my drawers in my room and like one more garbage bag. So I may move some of those into here because I still have some space and a lot of hangers. I also really have to get rid of all of that. Those are all recycling from all the packages I've received recently. This is my TV box, which I'm not throwing until my TV I know for sure works, but the technician is about to come and help me set up that. So making progress. Honestly, that was really quick with the clothes. I thought it was gonna take way longer, but I'm really proud. Let's go. It's connected. I finally have internet and I can use my computer properly and watch TV now. I'm so excited because I was struggling. Making progress, you guys, making progress. Lunch, tuna salad, avocado, feta, and some veggies.
current update. This is my hallway filled with unpackaged boxes. Minus the TV, which I have to recycle. Those are all like super heavy duty, like fragile items. We have a kitchen island, my couch, two dining table chairs. I still don't have a table. I haven't ordered one yet. But the chairs went missing. I ordered them from Wayfair. And then I got like a email confirmation that they were delivered. There was even like a photo of a door that was not mine. So naturally when I get home, I like search the entire building. No chairs were found. I call customer service. And they're like, okay, if they don't show up in the next few days, like we'll just reship them to you. But I came home this morning and they were here. My dad has a friend who's gonna come help me like put it all together because I cannot do it myself. Like I didn't get these items up here either. It's gonna like come together. You're just gonna see, okay? But let's get rid of this blow up mattress before the guy comes. days since my furniture has been installed and it's like officially lived in now I guess you could say and I think it's time I think it's time for an official apartment tour I'm so excited to show you also for me to look back on in like a few months when I have actual decor but I want to show you guys so let's just get right into it so here is my door this is where I enter my room my house and this is the hallway this is the first thing you see when you walk in here I've installed this shoe cabinet and this mirror so I can quickly check myself out before I rush out the door when you walk in this is the living room I am in love in love with it like I don't think I could have ever imagined I would have gotten something like this like the story behind this apartment is crazy and I'm not even gonna get into it but it's just it's such a blessing and I'm so grateful that this is mine and like Oh, I love coming home to this. Here is my little cutie couch. It's so comfortable too, so I'm really glad. Now, I have this set of chairs, right? And they're currently placed on opposite ends of the room in random places because my idea was to have a small table, which I have not ordered. I put a hold on ordering furniture because I'm kind of like done for now. But I really do need a table to like sit and eat at because I've just been eating on my couch with a blanket under me and a lot of napkins so I don't like ruin it. That's why these are currently here. My idea is to put a little table there, but I really don't think I have room. So. We'll see how it works out, but for now, they're kind of just there. I shoved all of my books that I brought with me in this little, like, nook. I don't even know. This chair I actually got on Facebook Marketplace literally the day that my parents left. I'm so happy. This was, like, my first little piece of furniture in my new home. And then we have my kitchen. Over here is quite limited counter space like as you can tell there's not much workspace so my mom got me this like roll out drying rack and for the first like week i was literally just like cooking everything on top of here i'm also drying some dishes so don't mind that a little stove oven fridge and freezer you know the basics nothing crazy this was one of the pieces of furniture i just got installed it's this portable island it literally has wheels on the bottom this is my living room Moving on. Now I showed you guys my closet, but now I've taken majority of the shoes off. Some bags here. And then you walk over here. This is my bedroom. And this is my beautiful bathroom. She is my pride and joy. Like, are you kidding? The checkered, the checkered, the, the tiling. <laughs> Obsessed. And here we have a little mirror. This is like a medicine cabinet. I keep random items in here, whatever. I want to put more plants in here for sure. Like a bunch of plants everywhere. A little shower. She's cutesy. I don't know if you guys care to see my bathtub. That is my bathroom. Love her so much. And then we come into my bedroom. Ta-da! She's so cute. I made my bed so cozy. I feel like I got blue bedding, which I'm obsessed with. It feels so much cozier at night. Of course, I brought my favorite stuffed animals. Come on. Come on. Here is the nightstand that I built. I'm still so proud that I built it myself. And then here we have a little candle warmer lamp. I really hate the look of all those wires, but I don't really have anything to do about it. 
I had just enough space for an extra dresser, which I'm really happy about. I think I'm gonna put like a beautiful gold mirror here and then more decor and just make it more cute and fun. This is my bedroom. Love her. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I even have a bedroom separate from like the living room. Like that's insane. Wow. I cannot wait to have posters and a rug, coffee table, an actual dining table to sit and eat at, more lighting. I also need a full length mirror. You guys, every morning before I leave for school, I have no idea what my outfit really looks like because I can only see the top half from any other mirror. I only have like two mirrors in the house. But I'm like, I hope you guys love it as much as I do because this is, this is where I'm gonna be spending my time for like at least the next few months, next year. And I love it, I love it so much. It's already feeling more and more like my actual home and not just this random place that I like moved into. I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope it does. But I love it and I'm, I'm so proud of her and she's so beautiful. I actually had so much fun, like even just with the air mattress, I was like sad to see it go. I was like, oh, I kind of got used to the air mattress, damn. And then all this furniture came in, but no, it's like perfect. It's such a perfect little nook. That is the apartment tour.